Hello friends, now let's solve the shortest distance from all buildings problem. Let's see the statement. You want to build a house on an empty land, which reaches all buildings in the shortest amount of distance. Look at only move up, down, left and right. You are given a 2D grid of values 0, 1 or 2, where each 0 maps an empty land, which you can pass by freely. Each 1 maps a building which you cannot pass through. Each two marks an obstacle which you cannot pass through. Let's see this example. Well, if we pick uh, the zero, uh, or if we pick uh, the this one, we we can know uh, we start from here, go to all the ones. The distance is the minimum. So how do you think about this problem? Well. It is obvious that uh, this is an undirected graph. So we can think about use breadth search to find the shortest distance. But uh, the problem is uh, the problem is maybe we cannot uh, find uh, a solution uh, sorry a result because uh, for example if uh, all these are two, which means this one is unreachable. Then we just return the negative one. In this case, we need to we need to check out start from uh, each zero if we can reach all the ones. So we need to use an extra two D array to record how many buildings start from the current zero can reach can we reach here? and another thing is if we have many candidate zero which one should we pick in this case we need another 2d array to mark the distance if we pick this one the distance start from here to all the other one which is the buildings so uh, all in all, we will still use uh, the breadth search. We iterate uh, the whole grid. If the current uh, value is 1, then we will do the breadth, uh, breadth search. We will let uh, all, the, um, all the 0 it can reach uh, plus 1, increment by 1, because it means in this case, uh, we can reach one more building. At the same time, update the distance um, in this case. So, after all these operations, we can get uh, uh, the, uh, the distance and the total buildings that can reach respectively. And then last, we will check if the reach equal to the total buildings. If yes, it may be the candidate building. We will compare the minimum distance and the distance here. Okay, let's do it. So first, the edge case check if the current grid equal to null or the current grid dot length equal to zero, we just return negative one. And then we will get the rows equal to the grid dot length and the columns equal to grid zero dot length. And I say that we need two Extra right one is the reach, which means how many buildings it can reach. The size should be the same as the original grid. Uh, and uh, another is the distance array. Right. The size should be rows, columns. And as we need to uh, know how many buildings in total, so we need the total buildings uh, variable. Total buildings. And as at first, it will be equal to zero, and then we do we iterate this grid I for int j equal to zero, j less than the columns j plus plus. Okay, if the current i j equal to one, then we do the breadth first search, and also in the same time we update the total buildings plus plus increment by one. And at last, we will uh, first get the minimum distance, and we will um, assign the value to the integer 
max value. Okay, then we iterate the two arrays. Iterate j less than columns j plus plus. So if the can reach, which means the reach, if the reach i j equal to the total buildings, which means it can reach all the buildings, and the distance to all the buildings is less than the minimum distance. We update the minimum distance to the uh, this value i j. So in the and we will check if the minimum distance equal to the integer uh, max value. If it equal to the max value, we just return negative one. If not the case, we just return the, this value. Okay, so now let's implement this BFS function. Let's see which parameter do we need. First, we need uh, we of course need the grid. And we also need uh, the current row and the current index uh, column. And we also need to pass the reach array and the distance array. OK. So how to do BFS? If you know, we will need a queue to do the BFS. And the type should be an uh, array because uh, it means the Position in the matrix x and y, so q equal to the new length list. And we do not want to visit the same place twice, so we need uh, the visited array to mark if we have visited before. First, we need the rows equal to the grid dot grid dot length and. Uh, Columns equal to grid zero. Eh? Sorry, grid dot uh, zero dot length. So the bit should be the rows, the columns. Okay. First, we will let the current um, position into the queue in queue, then. and the mark this place will be row column equal to the two. Do not forget to. We, we also need a distance, so the distance at the first will be zero. And we, when we do the BFS, we will increment this d. So while this d is uh, sorry, q is not empty, if the q is not empty, we will first get the size of the current q, because all the elements in this q now will share the same distance uh, from the one. Okay, so and we will let it to a uh, deep plus plus because at first uh, the distance to this zero should be one, right? Not zero. So for int i equal to zero, i less than the size i plus plus, we will get the current position that will be q pole. And also, we need to go to the four directions. So uh, usually, I will use two array. Uh, final. Oh, one is the row direction. It will be zero, zero, one, pot, uh, negative one, and uh, respectively, we need a column direction that will be one, negative one, zero, zero. What does that mean? For example, um, we will keep the row the same and move the column forward so we, we, which means we will uh, go to the right uh, so this one is go to the left this one is uh, go down this one is go up that is basically the meaning so we will choose k equal to 0 k less than 4 k plus plus the new r should be current 0 plus the row direction k and the current the new column index will be the current zero a uh, one plus the column direction plus k. Okay, we will use another function to check if the current index is valid. So if not valid, we just continue. Okay, so now uh, now let's implement this is valid at first. So we will 
pass this grid. Uh, and we will also pass the RRCC. We also need the weighted array. So first, check the index. If RR is less than 0 or CC less than 0, which means out of the bounder. Another is RR greater than grid dot length minus 1 or CC is greater than grid 0 dot length minus 1. We just return false. If the index is valid, we will check if we have visited them um, before. If we have visited the, the current place before, we just return false. If not the case, if the current grid RRCC not equal to 0, because we want to find all the zeros, right? If not equal to 0, we just return false. If not this uh, uh, case above, we we'll just return true. Okay, so we fill these parameters grid RRCC. And visited. Visited. Continue. So if it's valid, we will offer that into the queue. So the uh, the value should be RRCC. The same time max the visited be true. RRCC equal to true. Also, we will change the value. So the rich RRCC will plus plus right because. Mm, the current zero can reach uh, one more buildings, and the distance RRCC will plus the D. So, um, will plus the D. Because uh, when we meet this one again, we will plus the distance on it again. So, we should, uh, so in the end, the distance RRCC means uh, all the the total distance to all the buildings. So we have finished this very first search part. We'll fill this place grid i, j, reach, and uh, distance. OK. OK, thank you for watching. See you next time.